everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Shauna and today we are going to be going over my practical favourites. So there are a bit of beauty products but not a lot because I'm still trying to find my staple beauty products and clothes and everything like that and also I thought we'd try and be different and I'd kind of talk through my favourites that I use pretty much on a daily if it's not daily it's definitely weekly that i could not live without let's get straight in with the video okay so first off i want to talk about i've got them all down here um let's start with hygiene so we will start with toothpaste so i actually have been using this toothpaste i have just bought my second tube because I am nearly running out as you can see I am a night and day time teeth brusher and sometimes for special occasions a third time midday brusher as well but no I noticed that I do want to get my teeth whitened I do occasionally use the teeth whitening strip but I don't think I do it properly and also I'm, I just get worried that my teeth are going to fall out or my dentist is going to be horrible to me um, not that they would but I've never really touched wood had any problems with my teeth as such as like I've had the odd filling but that was when I was a kid and now I'm looking after my teeth a lot more touch wood I don't seem to have the dentist telling me that I need to come back for something it's more just a clean and polish I actually get patches on my teeth um sometimes where it's more whiter um and I think I did research it a very long time ago and I think it's to do with something like calcium or whatnot and you can get specific um, toothpaste for it that doesn't include something that most toothpastes include, I think. Um, so this isn't a teeth whitening toothpaste, but it just, um, yeah, it, I think it's enamel. I think it's the enamel repair. That's what the key thing is here. I think, don't quote me. Um, but yeah, it's Biomed Calcimax um, natural toothpaste. Um, yeah cavity protection as well ah i think it might be the free from fluoride as well basically i've got the tools with no knowledge but i know it works for me so if you get white patches on your teeth even if you have white teeth but you get white patches and you're not so happy about it you might not care but i personally it's an insecurity of mine so i find that by using this and regularly going to the dentist like twice a year helps me so yeah first product sticking with the teeth i um have a i floss regularly anyway but any flosses will do um and then i use an electric flosser so it has a stick that comes out here and it's electric and does it make the noise that was probably a really bad idea because now i am soaking but as you can see the vibrations and it sends the water through and you just pull it around your mouth around your teeth um and it gets into the nitty-gritty bits um to i don't know I'm, this is turning into a dentist sort of thing i don't want to be a dentist i actually don't like the dentist but i like my dentist anyway um let's move off of the teeth to like i say i've not really got any skincare and makeup in but there are two things that at the minute are again staples in my routine especially when i'm not wearing makeup i am obviously wearing makeup today the only thing i'm not wearing is mascara giving the lashes a bit of a break the drunk elephant um these were all over social media and stuff and i i was influenced and i got them and i was not disappointed so it's the b gold bright drops um drunk elephant and it's got five percent nice and made mind um and diglu cosic galactic acid basically just do your research on anything that anyone ever promotes or you know says that they use a lot of stuff like because if it works for me it still might not work for you um and while i say that none of what i'm talking about in this video are affiliate links or like, I'm, i've never been sponsored so yes i basically have paid for everything i've not been gifted anything and yeah i really do it works for me and my skin personally so yeah just gives you a little bit of a tint of um glow of you know glowy goddess um bit bronzed 
and I think it's buildable. I just put three blobs on into my um, sun cream, which is the next one, and then moisturize over that. Um, but yeah, it I guess is buildable. So the more you put on your hand and mix in, the glowier, bronze, goddessy more you will be, basically. Second, okay, so onto the Nivea sun um, cream for the face specifically. So as you know, it's very important to use SPF um, 50 on your face. Um, even in England, even in the coldest, even when I was in Finland, um, where it's dark most of the time, um, I was still putting Factor 50 on my face. Um, however, I've only just the past few months come into um, no, I guess, about this, which is shine control. I have a very shiny face and don't get me wrong, I still have a shiny face. I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of the shiny face. I'm starting to tell myself as I get older, healthy glow, you know? It's, it just means I'm healthy. <laughs> but um, I find that when I was using just any Factor 50 that I probably did get the cheapest one as well. This was still cheap though. Um, but yeah, I just grab any basically and say, yep, yeah, tick to the Factor 50. Um, and I think obviously like the more oily it was and whatnot just added to the shine added to the grease of the face um so i now get this one which if you didn't know because i didn't know until like finding it um but it's face specific it's nivea sun um shine control mattifying effect so i will definitely be getting this again and even if they discontinued this um actual like nivea for example I still think I get the same from any other SPF as long as it's shine control and matting effect. So if you struggle with, again, too much of a glow on your face, especially your forehead area, because that's what I did. I like the cheek, but the forehead is things too much sometimes. Um, then look for shine control and mattifying effect. Okay, let's stick with this sort of thing. So we've got the TikTok blue brush. And it's kind of like oval like this. Sorry if you can see any of my hair. I did try to clean it. Um, I also have greasy hair, so ignore that. But um, yeah, it's just the TikTok shop. However, I my sister went to a new hairdresser's like a year ago. And for some reason, my mum was telling me about this white brush that was basically this. But a white brush that the hairdresser basically... Um, recommended to my sister or to my mum for my sister um, and it's really good at getting looks out it's less culling on your hair and I didn't really I did say oh maybe like that could be a Christmas present or a birthday present she didn't quite get the hint because she didn't get me it anyway typical mother situation there because she seems to do that a lot especially when I was a kid anyway um but then I saw and I forgot about it I thought oh it's not meant to be like whatever um the cheap anyway but Sometimes if someone doesn't buy me something, especially if it's like, I don't know whether it is good for me or anything, then I just don't bother buying it. Um, so I thought it's not meant to be. And then on TikTok, I think I had to like add in something extra for free shipping or something. Came across this. And I'm so glad I did because it was meant to be. And I feel like it really actually does not pull on my hair. Um, yeah, I get less hair fallout. Um, whether it's because I'm using better supplements and, you know, integrating lots of nutrient-dense foods into me, um, into my diet, I guess. Whether that plays a big part, which it probably does. Um, I actually do think this is much better than any of my other brushes. And I've had the thin bristle brushes. I've had the, like, yeah, more, I guess, stiffer. But it kind of, like, moves with your hair, um, but still gets the looks out. Anyway, enough about the brush. Next we have staying on the beauty, I guess. Oh, let's go with this one first. So again, TikTok made me buy it. Um, it's the Nature Spell Natural Biobab Oil from Africa. It's a natural treatment oil, hair oil, body oil, all hair and skin types. So I was basically influenced to buy this because it said that it gets rid of your dark circles or helps. Um, which to be fair, I don't know whether that's the case with me. I'm going to still keep telling myself it is and whatnot. However, I bought it for that 
I still technically use it for that, but I also use it most nights um, because I find that it actually heals my skin. So I just feel like it's from Africa and it's from the depths of the jungle and, you know, rainforest and whatever's over there. And there's something that's healing in there because although I do still clearly have spots, um, I, I'm a picker, which is why they stay on my skin for longer. But also, if I sleep in this, don't put loads on, don't go overboard, but if I sleep in this, the skin around my spots and my spots seem to kind of clear up a little bit more. It's not a miracle worker, but clear up a little bit more. Redness of my skin goes, the dry patches around my nose goes, and maybe my eyes are a bit brighter, but again, I don't 100% know. I've not had anyone tell me that, so I'm waiting for somebody to tell me that. Um, but yeah, and I also use this with the next favourite, which is my gua sha. Um, so yeah, I literally gua sha my face. Try and do it morning and night, but I definitely do it night time um, if I don't have time in the morning. But I try and do both, um, just five, ten minutes. And yeah, I find that doing it with the oil works really well. Next, again, still on the self-care routine, I guess, um, we have dun -dun -dun -dun, a massager. It comes with loads of different hairs. I'm pointing down there because they're actually down there. But can I be bothered to get them? No. Um, but at the minute, I have this head in. So I can't remember how you actually take it out. Ah, just take it out like that. So you've got this and you've got a load of different heads. Anyway, at the minute, I'm using this head. Um, you turn it on at the bottom. You charge it through your electric. Um, and it tells you how much it is um charge so at the minute it's 99 percent. i charged it last night and then you can go to different intensities um yeah it's just a massager it's massage gun dancers gym goers person that has a lot of tension in certain areas um it's your best friend and i basically i think this was like 40 pound i pay about 40 pound for a sports massage can't go as consistently as I probably need to. So I find that this is a good alternative. It's also great because I can just do it from the comfort of my own home or take it to dance gigs. So yeah, great for recovery um, if you're quite an active person. Next, let's go on to a little bit of cleaning. Now, I'm not your biggest clean girl. I wish I was in my clean girl area and I feel like I'm getting there, but we need to tackle the wardrobe and clean the car and clean the dog first. And then I can call myself clean girl era. Anyway, I love this, the pink stuff. Um, you've probably used it. You've probably been amazed by it like I am. Um, but I just find that whether it's carpet, whether it is um, clothes, um, even whites, whether it is even like my windowsill, I am a coffee drinker. So I will put the cup down on the white windowsill and I won't clean it for a day or so, um, even though it's got a little bit of a ringlet around it. Usually if I just like marinate, I don't know whether that's the word, but marinate this on it for a little bit, um, whether it's again, clothes, coats, whatever, um, duvet, whatever it is, um, but the windowsill, it usually always comes out. So I swear by this. And if you don't know, then get to know. Bye, Felicia. Next we have, we're nearly finished now. Um, so we've got your um, charging sort of portable charges. Um, I need to find the HDMI for this. I think it's in my bag over there. But yeah, I have two. Um, there's no specific ones. I just have this, but I find it doesn't stay charged for as long this one again i think it isn't charged but it has the percentage so it'll have 99 and it'll go down when it needs charging which i think is amazing holds more charge makes sense because it's a lot bigger i carry both around with me usually um and i just think it's really good for if you go to festivals um, and there's not a lot of charging points i think it's really good if you work away or you're away from any charging ports all day but you need your phone i feel like everyone needs a phone just for safety in general um so yeah portable chargers and speaking of chargers i love this is like my best friend use it every single day portable charger for your car portable car charger so you plug it in as long as that works then you could charge your phone and it comes with one of these. I think um, 
it came with the old phone charger for the iPhone, but luckily I have this with one of my portable phone chargers, so I could use it and it charged perfectly. We've got this um, light, which again, TikTok buy. You can also get it from Amazon. It is, oh no, there we go. So you've got different um, ones. I'm just by the window now, so I don't need to use it. But this is good for content creation, whether it's reels, whether it's just taking nice pictures with better lighting, whether it is, um, if you're an actor or dancer, you might need to do a self tape talking about who you are. So it's great for that. If you have to do an online interview or even your meetings, it's just great for that. Not needed for everybody, but if you are in the performing industry or like I say, you do a lot of things on Zoom still and whatnot and you need better lighting, literally under a tenner, I think, or maybe about 12 pound. And yeah, I bought Tom this for his birthday as well as other things too um and yes i also have a microphone which is obviously plugged in right now um so i'll show you sorry if it gets to your ears we've got this little um microphone and plugged into my phone i will show you maybe i'll be talking now about it whilst i'm showing you um in future shana holding it uh, but yeah, it comes with what I'm currently showing you on the screen now and you basically plug that into your phone and you turn on the microphone again It charges through just electric so you'll get a charger with it um, And yeah, I think it's really good good for more clear Voice recognition I guess to your phone don't know how it works with cameras if you've got cameras, but I'm not that technical um, so again, great for reels, content creation, self tapes, um, voice notes if you voice note a lot and you just feel like you need it to be more clear. Um, meetings again, if you have meetings on your phone, I sometimes plug it in. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. The last thing I want to talk about is my watch. I just think it's very good. I use it every day just for the time setting um alarms as well because it just vibrates i like set alarms 10 minutes before a client session's finished or before something's finished where i can't keep looking at my phone or i don't want to keep looking at my watch because i don't want to seem rude um but yeah if i have quite strict time boundaries with work for example then i will set a timer 10 minutes before clients don't usually to seem to um notice it and i work with a lot of kids which voice that they notice things a lot um and yeah, it literally vibrates and then you just tap it. Obviously, it does your steps as well, which I like to monitor my steps. Um, not strict on it, but I do like to know that I'm getting a good amount of steps a day. You can do workouts on it, but I never really seem to log my workouts on it just because if I do press up, it stops and does its own thing anyway. So I'd rather just do a workout and know that I've moved my body and that's fine. I don't need to know about anything else like my heart rate or anything. Yeah, leave any comments down below. What's your must have daily and weekly sort of things? Um, let me know if you want me to do any beauty ones or any clothing ones. Probably won't happen for a while because I'm still set out to find those. So any recommendations on like bronzes, um, like foundations, things like that, um, as well as that you think might suit me because your girl needs some help in that department um but yeah it won't come anytime soon but let me know if you do want them and then i'll make sure that it's my challenge to find all of the things that i like and love for certain things like makeup skincare all of that um so yeah if you did like this video then please do give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have any video requests that you'd like to see in the very near future and yeah other than that if you haven't already please do subscribe and i will see you next week bye